Hello, I'm Shafi. I'll be talking about Amazon Web Services uh, and uh, how application development can be done with using Amazon Web Services SDK for PHP or for Java. So what are the IDEs that we have as an option which can be helpful in linking the SDK as well as uh, the EC2 instance. So like continuous deployment on the server, you can do it. So we have a, a plugin called Design Framework. This can this is available as a plugin in NetBeans. For a PHP development, you can also use Aptana, but linking it with Amazon Web Services and EC2 instance is not available. So we would be using NetBeans and add a Zen Framework so that you can link the Amazon Web Services and also use the uh, instance for your application development and also we'll be seeing how you can use uh, the Eclipse IDE for Java AWS application development so let's get started so here I have the NetBeans project and uh, so what we will be using for the PHP development is is the plugin tool plugins. If you you will find available plugins, and if you find search as PHP, you will find it. But here PHP uh, plugin is not available. So because I've already installed it. So if you can see, click here and see the PHP description. You can see that. There is a editor, debugger, samples, documentation, and also you have the so Symphony framework. You can see the Zen framework. The Zen framework is good, which helps in AWS uh, SDK and uh, EC2 application deployment. So I have already installed, and now we will be seeing how we can use. Uh, the PHP project and link with an EC2. So is you say a new project and then so so I'll say project two and then say remote server. Okay, nice. So it is asking for the project URL. So let me get started and okay. I need a pen key which I've already linked and then war length is WW so I can test the connection connection succeeded so I say okay so what is my project URL it's this so it's fetching the remote files So this is a similar another project of PHP one. So I will do some changes. Picture. see it is deleting the old file and it's uploading the new one so you can see the files are getting uploaded so I have the EC2 instance running it's a micro instance and also the PHP is installed in it so so using these commands PHP and It also requires an update. Okay, so let's check if the working of so my site is working. Now I want I'm interested in checking if my pages PHP file is updated or not. See, I made the changes and 
and then file is uploaded. So again, I would say ITM ITM files also. And let's make two sessions. So in that way, you can deploy your cloud application on the go. So that was about Gen Framework and how to add it to your instance. Now let's let's check in how we can use Eclipse for Java application development. Okay. So before we get started, I, I am interested in seeing how I I have to add an AWS plugin. So I go to New Install Software and then so clips so this this link gives you how to get software i mean how to install an aws toolkit for eclipse as you can see you have it supports almost all the stuff like all the features of AWS for CrowdStrike, SDK for Java, everything. So click this and go ahead and install. So I have already installed, so I did not see in it. I mean, I did not install it again. I can also check it says it's not configured. Yeah, it makes much noise. So I have my AWS keys here. I gotta be fast in this step. Okay. So as you see that I have linked my AWS Explorer, I can see the buckets and create a new topic for an EC2 instance. So in that way you can, you got to explore more on this AWS I just wanted to show that there is an option of um, linking an AWS toolkit. So also I have created a sample application using the examples of provided by AWS toolkit. So you have, I have linked all the keys and stuff. So I can just go ahead and run. So I run a Java application. So this is the current two buckets. So yeah, I'm just doing the listing. So in that way you have a lot of other examples which can be useful for the Java AWS application development. So that's it from my side and uh, go ahead and try doing the same thing. Um, the tutorial has like how to start up develop and update. You can watch this video too, and with respect to configuration. So, thank you, and all the best.